sandwiched between tower blocks and a railway line is the Ebony Horse Club, a community riding centre providing opportunities to gain new experiences outside the box of those negative stereotypes. Their aim is to improve the education and aspirations of young people through contact with horses. Recently, there was a strong media interest as Britain's Olympic gold medal winner Ben Mayer took a break from his busy jumping schedule and paid a visit to the club's yard to spend time with the young riders. Until just recently, I didn't even know that Ebony Stables existed. It's an incredible thing they've set up here in a, such a small space with all the uh, apartments uh, and the housing behind. Um, they're quite limited on space, but they have eight horses here and they tell me that 150 children a week are coming to enjoy equestrian work, play with the horses and uh, just lovely to be invited up here and uh, really give something back and see, see what so many people are trying to do in a, in a city. The organisers here have worked miracles in this tiny equine oasis in the centre of Brixton and Ben soon realised that the club has become a special place within the community. The children love it, it's obviously very popular, probably not enough of these stables in London, um, but really to see the children playing, working together, and I've just had a conversation with them there, and there's like 14 people all put their hand up when I said, who wants to walk with horses when they, when they leave school? Um, they love it, and really, really, it's a good way of life with the horses, and I think it's important to let them see a, a different side of the, of the way the world works. Ben's host was Sue Collins, the Ebony Horse Club's Chair of Trustees. Ebony was the inspiration, really, of a woman called Ros Spearing. And about 19 years ago, she was a single mother living on the Morelands estate. And she learnt to ride as a child, and, and she said, well, why shouldn't all children get that opportunity? Her real dream was to build a stables here. So after a lot of fundraising and some help from Sport England and the Lottery Fund and various other trusts and foundations and private donations and so on, they raised the money to build this centre here. We were opened by our uh, patron, the Duchess of Cornwall, in October 2011. So we're just about coming up for our fourth year. Ebony relies not only on charitable donations, it simply couldn't operate without the skill and dedication of its volunteers. Martina Burrell lives locally and has an autistic son who's benefiting from the club's philosophy. I actually put myself up to do some volunteering and I found that working with not just my child, it helped me understand him and what he was doing in the bond we could have together um, to discuss at home but also the different kind of children that was in Ebony. It wasn't just about children with a disability, it was children that had just a love for animals, a love for outdoors, that couldn't afford to get outdoors or didn't have time to, or just didn't have family support at home. And that's when I realised there was a lovely link for me as a volunteer with the horses to get involved with the children and not only just see them learn how to ride horses, it actually helped to teach them everyday normal life skills. During his time at the club, Ben gave a jumping masterclass to six lucky members, a nerve-wracking opportunity, but Ben's calm and encouraging manner quickly put everyone at ease and the group was soon confidently tackling the fences. I tried to give them some tips and kind of do all the correct way and they, some of them looked confused, some of them looked like they were really trying hard and at the end we had a mini competition, who could jump the highest and we had a winner. It's really good to see the other side of things and also try and help, help them and make them realise that they can do anything if they want to do it and I'm a, I'm a big believer of that. Fitting from Ben's tuition was 18-year-old Raquel Brown, who's been part of this club for many years. For somebody to come from the outside, especially an Olympian, is quite a good experience. And being able to ride for him and show him how good our riding is as a group was quite a good feeling. It's refreshing to see world-class athletes giving support and encouragement to the grassroots of their sport. And Ben Mayer clearly takes nothing for granted. Quite humbling to, to see children from all different backgrounds 
wanting to be involved in this career and you know even if one of the children take what I said to them today and they go online when they finish school and they want to go and get a job and you know they they really need to understand that there's a bigger world outside London and they they shouldn't be restricted and they should go for every opportunity they can and um, I really appreciate everything I have and if I can help as many children as I can, then uh, I, I feel good about that. Having someone like Ben Mayer visit, an athlete of that calibre, I mean, I, it was just extraordinary. It was so inspirational. And he gave them so much time. He showed them his gold medal. You know, he played with Pedro, our silly little Shetland pony. But having someone like Ben Mayer here, from the sport for which they all have a passion, and for which many of them want to make their life was just wonderful.